Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. I'm at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. And in this video tutorial, let me scoot down here, I'm going to show you how to create placeholder images. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, you can see there are different images, and those were placed into text widgets in my sidebar. And when I originally put them there, I had to take the original image and resize them a little uh, longer, a little shorter, a little wider, etc. And when you have to keep editing and uploading the original image, it can get real old real fast. So I'm going to show you a fast, quick way to add placeholder images, and you can use them in text widgets anywhere on your WordPress blog for the sake of design. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, let's go back right over here. I'm at my demonstration blog. I'll scroll to the top. It's Jim's Max JXL Marketing Team. And you can see I have two text widgets with with an image in each one of them. Now the bottom image I want to replace that with something a little wider and a little longer and I want to kind of see how it feels before I go turn around and create the actual image uh, with all that painstaking detail. Step number one, I'm going to go to this website. I'm going to give you the link to this website but you gotta to go to my blog post on my blog and, and you'll have a link to this particular page. That's just the easiest way to do it. Okay, so here's the image up here so instead of 600 by 400 I'm gonna make it 180 by 400 um, and then when you click outside this area you click in the white space it automatically changes for the background color that is whether it's three zeros or six zeros it still stands for black and whether you have three F's or six F's uh, that stands for the white and the lettering. So I want to change the background color to a purplish color. So I'm going to go to my color picker and once again I've got a link to this very page. It's a long convoluted URL so just click on the link in my blog post. Let's click on a purplish color here. That looks good. Now if I want to get it a, just a shade darker I click up here okay and then I can just double click right there uh, then press control C to copy or you can right click to copy or command C on a Mac very simple and then I'm gonna go back to my dummy image generator in the background color just paste it in control V on a PC command V on a Mac I'm gonna pick a format you've got three web safe formats to choose. I just happen to like the PNG, the Portable Networks graphic format, and then this will just say Jupiter Gym, and then I'm going to click on the white area. Um, there it is. Now, the details for using this particular image generator for size, colors, everything, there's all kinds of information right below that. You can read that in your own time. Okay, so now we've created this dummy image. I'm going to just m move my mouse up, and you can see this is a, an active URL or active link. So I'm going to click there. It opens up a new tab or window in the browser, and there's the image. If you want to save that image for whatever reason, just right-click and save image as. If you're in a Mac, you would press the Control key, then click on the image, and you'll get that drop-down menu. Now, I don't need this image, and that's the cool one of the cool things about using this dummy image generator or placeholder. So I'm going to click in here. That's the URL that will bring me right to this image. I'm going to press Control C to copy, Command C on a Mac. I'm then going to go back to my blog to get my bearings. Okay. Now we're going to place this image down here. I'm going to click this tab in my browser and that brings me to the dashboard of Jim's Max GXL marketing team where I've already logged in. Scroll down here under appearance tab there's a widgets tab and I happen there's the CIW certification I, so I know the the one I want to replace is underneath that now here's the information for the image it says IMG and that's SRC so that's an image source that's HTML code first thing I'm going to replace is the URL hit the backspace and then I'm gonna press control V as in control Victor to paste that's Command V in a Mac. And it still says height um, 150. I know that the height is 400. Okay, so I'm going to change that. And this says width 150. I know that it's 180. 
Okay, so I'm going to save this. Click Save. You don't need to click the close, but I like to do that. Scroll to the top, right click, and then open link in new tab. If you're in a Mac, once again, just press control key and click and you'll get this drop down menu. I'm going to go here and sometimes it doesn't take on the first try and you gotta wait a little while. This is a perfect example. There are a couple of things you can do to kind of speed up the propagation of that image. Uh, why don't you just click on a new page? That'll often do the trick. If that doesn't work, just log out of the dashboard and that seems to speed things up. So there it is. It's working and I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, you know, the 180 is a little big. I want to bring it down to maybe 165. In that case, what I would do is go back to the dummy image generator. Just click 165 here. White space. That's changed. Click up there. There's the new image new URL, copy it, back to the widgets, open this up, and replace what we have in here. The URL, let's replace that URL. Backspace, control Victor to paste. Um, the width is, we know down here, is only 165, so I'm going to change that. Click Save. We don't even need to close that window. open link a new tab. If it looks the same like I said we'll just you can see it didn't even change there so we're just gonna click a new page and it will show up and then eventually of course it's gonna show up on every single page it's just a little lag in the system when you're using WordPress. And there it is that looks definitely better than the 180 and that's basically all there is to using the placeholder images they're much faster you can see than having to edit and upload pictures using a fancy graphics editing program like Photoshop fireworks whatever if you like this video please click the like button leave your comments on YouTube and my a blog, share with friends, family, and loved ones on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, StumbleUpon, whatever. Take care and have a great day.